Hey guys, it's Shalicia coming at you with a new Must Have Mondays. I wanted to share with you the things that I've been loving for the month of January. January honestly is the longest month of the year. I know it's like 31 days, but it felt like it lasted for two months. And I'm super happy that it's February now for a new year to start doing new things and getting out of that after Christmas funk. So starting off with skincare, I've been really into taking care of my skin making sure that everything is getting more flawless and more effective. So I'm trying to fix this lighting just a touch. But yes, like I was saying, more flawless and effective and just more radiant. So I can like, you know, have that really nice natural glow factor without makeup. So for when I get my breakouts, I typically get them when I eat a lot of chocolate. Yeah, I really just, anytime I eat chocolate, like I break out. I can have the smallest piece of chocolate, and I'll get like a really cystic kind of pimple, which is under the skin, and it hurts, and then it doesn't want to pop, which drives me crazy, and I'm at it for like ever. So the first thing I really enjoyed this month was I went for a Derma Silk Peel Facial, and I also got like dermaplaning. So it's basically when like they shave your peach fuzz, but it exfoliates and jazz. Loved it. My skin was super smooth, still super smooth. I'll probably get another dermaplaning in March because she did recommend every six to eight weeks. But you know, every two months will be good. I find like my makeup lays really smooth. I felt like my skin benefited from that facial really well. It did pull like, some dirt to the top, which made me have a couple little breakouts. And for the breakouts, what I've been really enjoying using is the Origin Super Spot Remover is the acne treatment gel. Right there. I picked mine up from Shoppers Drug Mart. I believe you can get it at Sephora and Ulta as well. I'll link it down below at whichever one I remember. But I'll link it down below. It's like 25 bucks, I think. And I find it is super effective. I've tried the Bosch one before in the past. And that didn't work as well for me. But with this one, super effective. Quite enjoy it. Recommend it. Especially if you only get pimples like at that time of the month. You're going to love it. And because I've been like really into my skin, I've been doing a lot more masking. So for, I use this mask two times a week. Depending on the weekend if I remember. But it's the Glam Glow Super Mud clearing treatment i have the mega size which is like a 3.5 ounce this one's like a hundred dollars you can get it at shoppers and shoppers and sephora this is what it looks like you can get it in the pot size which is like this which is another glam glow mask i'll be talking about but i love this for like helping to bring all the impurities to the surface so my breakouts come out quicker so i can just deal with them get rid of them and move on with my life so i've been really liking this like i've said i've used this for like a spot treatment all over the face but i use this like twice a week at the end of the night before going to bed and then use a moisturizer with it but i've been loving that the next mask i've been really enjoying is an, a glam glow one this is the power mud dual cleanse treatment it's a mud to oil looks like this Smells like apples, like green apples to me. It has like a gray-ish scent. What I really enjoy about it is that I only use this like three times a month because of dual cleanse. But it's for like um, basically another imp clearing out impurities and jazz. Quite enjoy it. Smells amazing. So I like using this like once a week. Like on a Sunday night, after a week of wearing heavy makeup or heavier makeup. Quite enjoy that mask. I put, you put it on for 20 minutes. Then you wash it off and it turns into like an oil cleanser. Super nice. Leaves your skin feeling really great. And hydrated almost. I'll link it down below as well. The next mask is the Bosha Luminizing Black Mask. You can get this at Sephora as well as Shoppers now online. I know I'll keep saying Shoppers a lot because I'm in Canada. I quite enjoy going to Shoppers way more than Sephora for the items that I can get at both. 
But this is the original peel off black mask. Do you remember when everyone went through that phase of like wanting a peel off mask? This is what started it, I, in my opinion. This is what started it. Like super effective. I use this like twice a week. Like I rotate my mask, guys. So if I'm using my Glam Glow one, one night, say Monday night, I might use my peel off mask the mon the Tuesday night, depending on how my skin is looking that week. But I enjoy it. It's a nice peel off mask. Um, you leave it on for 20 minutes, black, it peels off, feels great. Don't get it in your brows. Or if you have a little mustache going, don't get in there because it feels like it's ripping off your whole life. But it works so well. I like cleaning out your pores, like especially on your nose. It can get super congested. Peels that off really good. And then for cleansing my face, I've been really into the number seven nourishing cleansing balm. Looks like this. You can get this at Shoppers Drug Mart or wherever else you can get number seven. I'm not sure quite not quite sure where you can get it in the States, but it's a cleansing balm like this. I used to really enjoy the Pixie Dual Cleanse one, but we cut but I wasn't a fan of the the cream cleanser part to it. But I quite enjoyed this. This is very comparable to the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm. I haven't tried that one because I just have it. I'm not a fan of Clinique products. If they work for you, that's good. I just don't find their skin products work, work for me very well. Love their eyeshadows though. But yeah, so I have this balm. Really enjoyed it. And they're super for It's like 20 bucks. I think 22 And you get 4.2 fluid ounce, which is a really nice size. And you only need a little bit. I use this like every other day and I still have like more than half of it to go. So I quite enjoy it. I find it works really great at taking off your makeup. But with like my Stila Steel Day Liquid Liner, that's a little more struggle to take off the eyeliner. But other than that, it takes all well my other makeup really well. So it's good. Then for moisturizer, because it's super dry, skin super dehydrated. I've been really liking the Neostrad, uh, well... The Neostrata Moisture Infused Oil-Free Hydrating Lotion. I think this got renamed when they repackaged, but I don't know if it did. I'll link it down below. But I quite enjoy it. Um, you can use it morning and night. I usually typically lose it in the morning. I use a different moisturizer at night, but I'm tired of talking about that one. So I'm not featuring it. But I quite enjoy the super hydrating, lightweight. If I wear it in the morning, I can wear my foundation on top of it without pilling. You can get this at Shoppers Drug Mart in Canada or wherever else you can get Neostrata in the States. Not quite sure about that. But yeah, quite enjoy that. For eye cream, I've been really about the Reversa Eye Care. It's for puffiness and dark circles. You can get this at Shoppers Drug Mart as well. This video is not sponsored by Shoppers Drug Mart. Like I'm not at, I'm not at that level yet. But I just really enjoy shopping at Shoppers Drug Mart because of the point system and how you can redeem your points like in Ulta, you know? And they get like double redemptions, like this week is a double redemption where you redeem more, you get more off, it's great. I didn't buy anything really this weekend. Oh, but I did. Vic, go in the bag and get the eyebrow thingy so I could put it in the haul part. Sorry, like I'm filming the haul after this and I just bought some like eyebrow scissors. The one that had the first bag that had the batteries in it and I bought eyebrow trimmers because I wanted to wear a lace front wig a one that I've had in my collection for a while from RPG hair the story's off topic and I couldn't find scissors so I was like when I was at shoppers I'm like I'll get some hair scissors couldn't find hair scissors I was like you know what let me use these brow scissors and blah 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 so when you watch that haul video when it comes up later in the week or next week you'll understand the story a little better when you see them thank you so yeah, but back to the eye cream. I use it morning and night. Works really well. Um, Reversa is a Canadian brand and whatnot. But you can find it at Shoppers as well. I'll link it down below. I quite enjoy it. It's like my second one I've had of these. Had have of these. I had another one. I gave one to my mom because it was my backup for this. But you know, I quite enjoy that eye cream. But I am on the market for a new eye cream. So if you have a favorite, leave it in a comment down below so I can check it out. Doesn't matter where you can get it. Like Sephora would be ideal if you're from the states because then i can at least get it or shoppers and i'll check that out and then the last skincare item is the glow recipe pineapple sea bright serum it's a brightening and smoothing serum 
you can get this at Sephora, but I did get it in my Lux Boxy Charm box, I think my July one. March, April, May. Yeah, like my July one. I've been using it for the past month. You'll need a couple drops. Leaves your face smelling amazing. Like you smell like pineapples. A little sweet and like great. Super hydrating, lightweight, absorbed into the skin really well. What I like doing, I put this on, then I pair it with either a moisturizer or my Laneige sleeping mask, but that's almost done, and I keep talking about it in almost every video. So I didn't bring it up in this one, but I can't wait to pair it with the Glow Recipe Watermelon Sleeping Mask, because my Laneige one is almost done. So once that's done, I'm going to switch over and try that and see how it works together. But yeah, but I quite enjoy it. It has a little dropper, cute little packaging, pineapple-esque vibe. It's great. Definitely recommend that one. Then moving into makeup. Oh, actually, last skincare item. It's for your feet. This is a Korean brand. It's the Peeling Foot Mask. You can get these at Shoppers Drug Mart. They're like seven bucks. But you put your feet in them, and legit, your feet within a week start peeling. And once they're done peeling, your feet are so smooth. Like, I love it. I use it, like, maybe once every six to eight weeks. I can keep my feet, like, you know cute and jazz not that they ever be seen and whatever but you know it's the idea of keeping them cute now jumping into makeup i don't have the most but primer i've been really enjoying for the past month is my smashbox photo finish centering citrus primer water this is just a limited scent their primer water is great i have the original this one another one i just really enjoy it but i've been working on finishing products so this is what it looks like. It has a really nice fine mist. Quite enjoy it. You can use it before your makeup, after your makeup. I like spraying it on before my makeup, then after my makeup. Keeps you looking fresh throughout the day longer, in my opinion. For foundation for this past month, the one that I've used the most, minus my L'Oreal infallible fresh wear one the juvia's place i am magic velvety matte foundation i have it in the color 340 kampala that's the one i'm wearing today it's a touch dark it's a touch deep but i quite enjoy it i'm gonna keep working with it you know this is what it looks like it's a squeeze tube i do have a foundation friday video on it when i did a wear test with it so i'll link it up in the card above if you're interested in seeing my thoughts on it but I quite enjoy it. I know I'm late to the game, but I got it in November when I went to Florida. I thought I'd just try it out. Definitely recommend this foundation. It's definitely full coverage. Leaves you looking really flawless and amazing. Eyeshadow primer for the month has been my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. The original one looks like this. This is the mini travel size one. For eyeshadow, I've been enjoying two. I've been enjoying the Maybelline, the 24K Nudes Palette. I don't even know if they sell this anymore. I can't remember. But I got mine at Shoppers Drug Mart a couple years ago. But I really do like the Maybelline eyeshadows. Hold on, let me kind of open it without breaking a nail. So these are what the colors look like. They're really great everyday colors. You can smoke them out for like a date night look. Very pretty. I do have a tutorial using this. I will link it in the cards above if I remember which one it is. I think it's, or maybe it's a Valentine's Day look I used with it. I can't remember, but it will be coming up. You'll see this palette being used. And then my other palette that I've been really liking is my Tarte Tarte Lip Palette. This one right here is the original. I feel like nobody really talks about Tarte eyeshadows anymore. But this is what the palette looks like. It's like a cooler tone palette. It's very pretty. Great everyday palette. Quite enjoy it. It's what I'm wearing on my eyes today. Just for the simple everyday look. Last eyeshadow palette is the Urban Decay Naked Smoky Palette. I pulled this bad boy out and I did a look at it earlier in the year and filmed it. It's up on my channel. Link it down below. But I quite enjoy it looks like this is a very nice cool tone neutral palette great for every day as well or like date nights it's all about what you like to wear your makeup as so i quite enjoyed this one this past month for my face 
my highlighting. Been loving my Smashbox Spotlight palette. It's the gold one. Oh, I keep forgetting there's something black on here. Ugh. This is, what it, this is what it looks like. I'm really a fan of these two shades right here, which are Turn It On Gold and Crank It Up Gold. So those have been my shades. Quite enjoy them for highlighting. Then, last highlighter is the MAC Iridescent Loose in Golden Bronze. I bought this like years ago and it's still going strong. I feel like I haven't made a dent in it. But you can find it at the MAC store and Sephora now too because they brought it back. But I love this highlighter. It's the one I'm wearing today. This gives you a nice like glow factor. Super beautiful. To set my concealer, I've been back in love with the Kat Von D Locket Translucent Powder. I've been working on this mini size forever. But I'm finally making progress, guys. Like, it's making progress. Like, I'm halfway done. Enjoying it. Last two, three things are, since I got my nails done, look, these are my new Valentine's Day nails. Super pretty. Right? I haven't been able to put my lashes on really well with them because they're so much longer than I'm used to. So I've been really enjoying my Tarte Lash Applicator. It's gold. Just like that. It's like a metal one. I don't really like the plastic ones. I find they're too thick. But that's just me. But I quite enjoy this one. And the final two things are lip colors. The first one is a Sephora Collection liquid, like the cream lip stains. And number 19, Radiant Orchid. It's this one right here. And the last lip color is a L'Oreal Color Riche. It's one of the matte ones. Is number 405, Doesn't Matte. Er, matte art matter. It's really nice deep red. It's very pretty, very pretty. So these are the items that I've been loving for the month of January. Leave me a comment down below on the items you've been really loving. So I can potentially check them out, even though I'm on a no-buy kind of vibe. But yeah, leave those comments down below. Like this video if you did. Share it if you want. Subscribe. I really appreciate it. And I'll see y'all in another video real soon. Bye, y'all.